right, so we created a home page which just gives you four different categories instead of the jobs. It breaks categories into it, so quicker to find what job you're looking for. Uh, yeah, basically the home page. On the washer schemes, you already know that exists. So regularly scheduled maintenance, you constantly have to replace the uh, wash gasket. Yeah, you want? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So first show the scroll bar, I think, I don't know if we showed that yet. Okay. Well, the last time you seen it, it was the home page. This is just the category page, so all the jobs that are in that category. Okay, go back and click on replace washer. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So here we have a progress bar. Note this is a static or a, like hard coded progress bar. is not dynamic at all. The sponsor. I don't think she completely understands the difference between dynamic and static or whatever, but she likes this one more than the dynamic one, so you know, give her what she wants. Right. Uh, so up top, the words are coming in from the database. I'll let him talk about that in a little bit. Uh, if you click the call button, you call. we now have pop-up. Just make sure that you want to call and if you say, don't, don't say yes. Uh, click yes. Click the character, I mean click the X, sorry. Click on the home button, same thing for the home button. Does the same thing, pop up. Uh, click X, go to the last scene. Go to the last scene? Yeah. Keep going. All right, so here when you reach the last scene, it gives a check mark instead of an X, or a continue one. Uh, just uh, pardon me, um, I'm only seeing about Three fourths of the window, and I think the part you are working on, I can see it from now. Yeah. Do you have any prop? Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, almost no. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's still tilting. <laughs> this way? Uh, no, we no, lost it. Okay. Almost there. There we go. I think that's perfect. Okay. So the okay, thank you. Check mark is just indicating it's the end of the job rather than you think that there's another step. So go ahead and click that and just make sure that you want to complete it and not accidentally. The reason for all these pop ups is because you are using a tablet and you don't want to accidentally hit the thing and go to the home page or go to another scene while you're still trying to perform the job. Uh, oh, uh, you can exit out of that. And then click the call button and go to check. So this is just a temporary scene showing that it does actually go to the call scene. Ideally here you would be showing the person that you're calling, but we're not tackling that part. It's just a placeholder for now. Uh, can you go back? Yep. So this is part of what he was working on in the database. Wherever you do the call button, because you're calling a new scene, it actually does go back to the scene that you called it from. Uh, yeah, and I'll let you talk about the database. Okay, so what we what we were running into is everything that we're we're trying to move from the home scene all the way to the end. Everything's linear. So what we needed to be able to do is identify how do we come back from the call scene. And so it started out by when you first call uh, the program up, it's going to load a scene handler. Um, so basically, what it's using is it's using a stack. And as you're progressing from one scene to the next scene, it's going to throw it onto the stack. And so anytime you press the, the previous button, it's popping it off the stack after it goes to it. And so it's just dynamically just keeping up with that. Um, all of the next buttons are uh, statically built into the scene handler so that we can control which scene you're actually going to next whenever you click on the next button. Um, pretty much that's, that's pretty much all it does really. We can go back all the way all the way back to the home scene if we wanted to. Uh, going from here, it's going to go back to the first scene. And it's going to go back to what we call this job from the mechanical maintenance side. You can go back from there, it takes it all the way back to home. Anytime you go back to the home scene, it resets the, the stack to zero. And anytime we go forward, I go to the electrical maintenance. It doesn't matter what job we go to right now. Uh, if we go to install batteries, this is one of those that we do have a have a scene set up to do it. But we'll go to like a replace light bulb. 
because uh, we want to make sure that if you click on a button, it's going to do something. So though, even though those don't actually have a scene, we actually have it set up and it tells you right up at the top, um, <coughs> this is just sample, that do this action to complete the sample task. Every button in here functions. Um, static bar or the progress bar is, right now, it's just, it doesn't actually do anything yeah. on the sample. Um, even from here, everything works exactly as it's intended. So if we hit uh, done, it takes us right back to the home scene, resets the stack, and keeps moving from there. Even going to the emergency maintenance, it doesn't matter. All these jobs right now don't even have yeah, a they're... scene set to it, but again, it takes us to the sample task. We can call. It takes us here, if I hit back. It takes us back to the task that it called it from. We'll actually go into one of the other jobs. That one, nah, that one broke again. Been having trouble with that previous button. So let's go into this job where we actually have some scenes. And on the first scene, uh, we'll go ahead and call. We don't have a clue how to unscrew the tail cap. Call them up. Hey, what's up? How do I do this? Come on there, hopefully look at it and say, okay, you're supposed to unscrew it. So we'll go back. We're back to the previous scene that called it. Now we're going to progress forward. I'm going to go again. Let's say progress one more. All right, now I have no idea how to put the batteries in. So now I'm going to call the expert again. Again, he's like telling me, God, this guy doesn't know how to put batteries in. So let's tell him. We'll go back. We're right back on the job. We're right back on the task that tells us how to do this and it's showing us how to do it. Um, so, yeah. Anytime we do a refresh, we don't want it to basically add the task again because uh, it's going to reload the scene, but we don't want it to look, throw it back onto the onto the stack as if it's progressing to the next. So we pretty much we don't do anything with the stack. We, we call it refresh. Um, just gives us an opportunity. If it's not picking up the object, then Try again. Go home. Resets the stack. We're back on the home page. And that's everything that we. Yeah. That's it. Yep. That is it. Yeah. He also tried upon your request to do the flashlight one rather than a right. paper. Mm -hmm. No luck. Bye guys. Nice. <laughs> it's it's no, pretty difficult. Yeah, we tried. A, we tried a flashlight that had a lot of contrast on it. Yeah, the scanner is very particular about what kind of objects it likes. Oh, I see. Okay. And, and even though the scanner shows it works, like, oh, yeah, we detect it. Once you put it through the database of Euphoria, download that, and then put it onto Unity, then run it from Unity, it doesn't always work. That's why I was telling you it might not get done because of how much work goes into doing it.